Hi everyone, welcome to Jensen DIY. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to test an element in a water heater to see if it's burnt out and make sure that it actually is burnt out before you go through the trouble of changing it, okay? And then I'm gonna show you how to change it as well. Got an older 40 gallon electric water heater here. First thing you wanna do is turn the breaker off to the water heater, usually it's a double breaker. Okay, so you wanna turn the water off to the water heater. That's off. Sometimes the valve will look like this. You just turn that until it stops. You've got the power turned off. You've got the water drained down. If you were replacing the top element, you would just have to drain the water down to below this cover plate here. If you're doing the bottom, you pretty well have to drain the whole tank. It needs to be below this. So you could leave the last bit of water, but you pretty well drain the whole tank, okay? Remove this cover plate, some foam. You wanna remove this protective cover here. You want to double check the powers off. Okay, that's off. There's your element right here. Okay, now you may have a flanged element where there is four bolts. One, two, three, four. You would undo those to get that element out and there would be a gasket and then you would replace that that way. Most of the time now though they are a threaded element. Okay, so you want to undo these two Phillips screws. Okay, so you just want to disconnect those. them out of the way. Now you want to test this element before you change it because you want to make sure that it is actually burnt out. Okay, so this is an analog multimeter, okay? So you want to set it to ohms and you want to take your two leads and touch them to each other so you can see that they work. When testing an element, you want to take your two leads. We're gonna put one where the black wire was, one where the red wire was. And you can see our needle isn't moving. So we know that that element is bad. Now the digital multimeters will have sound. So, uh, so you will hear a steady tone if there is continuity. Once again, no reading on the analog type meters means it has no pathway for the current to go through. Okay. This is an element wrench or socket. Okay. I believe it's an inch and a half, so you could use a socket as well, but this is meant for changing elements. So now you just wanna place that on the element. And then you need to put a bit of force on that. Sometimes these elements can really be in there. So you get that on there, take a piece of pipe or something, something to give you some more leverage. And then you wanna Spin that counterclockwise. There we go. Okay. That comes out. Looking at these internal threads is telling me that, that this tank needs to be replaced because these threads are corroded. There is no threads right here. But for video purposes, there is a rubber washer right here, but um, I like to put a bit of um, pipe dope sealant around here. Now you wanna just clean in around. And you just want to snug that up. Get it nice and snug. And just get your wires done back up. Snug those up good. Yeah, and then the next step is fill your tank back up. Very important that you have to fill the tank back up before you turn that breaker on. Let's go turn the water back on. And then once you have turned the water back on, you need to open up a hot faucet in a bathroom or kitchen in your house and let all that air escape. Once you get a steady stream of water coming out that hot faucet, then you know your tank is full 
and that's when you can turn the power back on. Put your protective cover back on. Well, I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and uh, we'll see you on the next one.